Good morning, folks. The large plasma filament incoming on the north won't make it to face Earth. He stood up, stretched, and collapsed. This takes us slightly south at the limb for another filament incoming. Also have some incoming down on the south. We are going to come to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours of our star calm? Maybe? Well, no. I was already halfway done with this morning news video when this happened. The eruption is not enormous, but it is directly facing Earth, and the ejecta produced has a good chance of coming our way. It didn't even crack up into M-class flare range, but something like this amidst utter calm and stability can still rock and roll something these sunspots are still not doing. Earth-facing quiet is dominating them thus far, but we may have the beginnings of magnetic mixing in the middle there, blue and red. Solar wind took another level up in speed, but did so without major density, so the disruption to Earth's magnetic field does not match the initial onset of magnetic storminess. Folks, let's gain some perspective. Look at the solar wind speed chart and see the power in the south versus the north which is not very powerful. In fact, the red negative coronal holes dominate such that the positive opening can't even be found at the North Pole where it really belongs. We've discussed this on suspiciousobservers.org a number of times this year. The southern field strength is three times stronger than the north and has been for a while. And by the way, if that 75 in the south is the second peak of this year's negative magnetism, it corresponds with the twin 7.6 earthquakes in Peru and Brazil, and the first peak up there at 80 occurred with the M8.6, 600 kilometers beneath Japan, which even after their downgrade to 7.8 magnitude, is still one of the most tremendous rumbles of the year. Got a link below to a NASA article on how El Nino is affecting things. Multiple animations and explanations there. This past weekend storm in Alaska actually broke records. Super winds were complemented and partially driven by the lowest observed extratropical pressure in a storm like this. Lastly, folks, for your discussion and consideration, is a genetically modified plant to be considered the same as all other GM plants if it contains only a gene tweak and not a single shred of foreign DNA? Interesting piece. Anyone who ordered the book in the first pre-order round, that would be before December 5th. By this afternoon, all of those books will be on their way to you. Even the international shipments have a good shot at arriving before Saturnalia. Second round of pre-order, those will arrive to me and I'll start pumping those out on Monday, but they will still likely arrive after the holiday. This is just about everything from the science to the controversies to a glossary of terms and lots of HD images and explanations, observing the frontier first edition. You can get the hard copy or the electronic copy over at otf.cells.com. And also, Phoenix, January, our conference, the last hurrah, so to speak. There are student discounts, senior discounts, group deals, etc. And hotels are filling up nearby, so book your stay as well as the ticket to the event. We've got pressure, Radar, current conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.